Hello and welcome to Trucker's World for another video. Uh, it's been a while, uh, probably over a month now since I put a video on. Uh, mostly due to reasons to work, uh, social life, that kind of thing. As you can see, I've been busy, not a shave. And of course, the video quality is not too great because it is coming up to night time. And I've been doing mostly nightly work for the last probably couple of months. Okay, so this video... It is about basically class one night work, uh, which is what I've been doing for the last two weeks. Um, it is more or less with the same company, but a different depot. Now, I'm not going to name that company uh, for whatever reasons are out there, but you will, you will know them. A uh, very re reputable uh, courier company. Okay, so this is my class one experience with this company, and it's in the north, uh, northern depot, uh, quite a big depot. And obviously, different depots will work differently, okay? So my experience will be different for somebody who maybe works, you know, in South or the East, okay? It's all different. So here we go then. So I start at 10 o'clock. I'm doing a Sunday to Thursday rotor, so I finish on Friday morning. 10 o'clock start, <clears throat> and I go in and I do my checks. Now, this is supposedly uh, to be an eight-hour shift, and it really does need it to be an eight-hour shift. However... You feel like you've got to rush through this eight-hour shift. So, that's to finish on time, that is. So, I do my checks. Uh, my wagon has already been loaded. Now, there's a lot of legwork uh, in this job. A lot of legwork. So, I'm loaded with 24 pallets. Quite tall pallets. You know, probably about maybe... I don't know. Five feet five, maybe. Give or take. You know, five-foot pallets. <coughs> um, quite tall pallets. So, 24 full pallets, all full of parcels. You've got a pump truck... It's already loaded when you go in there. So you need your checks, everything's fine. Uh, close up the shutter. And we are delivering local. So we're going to local delivery units. Uh, maybe about half an hour away. Give or take, that's about it. So I go half an hour and I reverse up. Nobody's there, which is quite good. I get the key to the delivery unit and I unload at my leisure, so to speak. 24 pallets sold by tail lift and by pump truck. You know, it's not as easy. It's okay the first load. But obviously, as you progress, it gets a bit tiring. So 24 off. Uh, it takes about a good 45, 50 minutes easily. When you've done that, you lock up and you go back to the depot. When you get back to the depot, um, you back up onto a bay and you get ready for your second run. Now, a second run may be to the same place or it might be somewhere somewhere else, maybe within half an hour or 40 minutes away. It's usually no more than 40 minutes. And you bet your bottom dollar you'll be going out mostly full. Now... Usually what happens is that somebody else, one of the warehouse workers, will help you load up, but you have to load up as well, okay? Last night, I had to load up a full 23 pallets, all on my own. Nobody helped me out. You know, crazy, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, you load up another 22 pallets. Sometimes it's a little bit less, you know, so that's going to be 18 maybe, um, depending. But coming up to the busy time of year, it's not likely to be going forward now. So you load up again. And away you go, and the, and you do the same thing again. Okay, the very same thing again. You get to the place, back up, and you unload. These are single depots, okay? You come back, and then you go on your dinner. While you're on your dinner, somebody's loading you up from the back, uh, and then you're going out for your final run, hopefully leaving about between four and a half, four, give or take. You might have to go and help out a little bit once you've had your dinner to help load up to get out on time. So loading up some more pallets. And more often than not, you will be full again with another 22 to 24 pallets. Um, this time you might go to a single depot or you might go to two depots. So basically the load is split half and half. So you might go to one depot, unload there, half your wagon, then go to another depot and unload there, half your wagon. It's hefty work. Obviously by this uh, time, your feet are starting to hurt. If you can imagine, obviously three sets of 50 minutes of unloading and loading as well here and there half your night you do feel like you're you're almost like a warehouse staff you know you're pulling and you're walking it's heavy on the feet you know not too heavy on the pallets don't get me wrong on the muscles it's more your feet you're walking for three hours easily if you count it all up once you've done your final load you come back oh, excuse me um and you are done um you do your checks you might have to fill up depending what time it is, but by that time, you know, you're looking about half six finish, and that's you with a bit of a pace on, you know, if you kind of dragged your feet a little bit, and, and slowly, and nice and easy, you probably could easily extend that an hour, 
easily and people do so that was my day that's a sunday through to thursday my views it's not for me if i'm honest <laughs> i keep saying that a lot about these jobs um i don't mind a bit of handball don't get me wrong i've done lots of bits of handball in my time but i think this is a little too much two runs fair enough you know, but free runs, doing 72 pallets, and then also loading your pallets as well, it's a lot of leg work, and it is tough on the feet, I'm not going to lie, it really is. Um, it's not for everybody, and this is why this company takes on new Class 1 drivers. And what I've noticed is, the drivers that are there, I've been on contract there, so I'm actually full-time there, there are two other drivers on contract, and it's or three other drivers actually on, on contract, and it's, as far as I know, it's their first and only Class 1 job, okay? So you're not going there and you're finding experienced lads there who've been doing it for a while or whatever. I don't think that's the case. Uh, two of them, along with me, have only had the licence for maybe six months, give or take. Um, you know, the other one, I think, maybe has had it a little bit longer. He's decided to stay. Pfft, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. It's not for me, I don't think. And I will be looking to move on from this i think it's just too much walking you know and I, i'm a walker i'm a fit lad i play football believe you me i am but you know with kids as well and dogs coming home to that it just doesn't help it's not like i can usually come up home and, and put my feet up for a few hours and that's it you know i have to come home do a couple of jobs obviously when i'm getting up i have to do a couple of jobs as well you know um i think it's just too much footwork and and last uh last night i did 10 till half 7. Again, you know, most people are doing a lot longer shifts on Class 1, but like I said, because of all the leg work, it really does make it hard work. So there, there you go. There's an insight to a big courier company. You'll know the wagons. You'll know the company very, very big. Um, and this is working for their depots, their distribution depots. Now, if you work for the hubs, that's a little bit different. That's one higher up. But the distribution depots... Um, this is what you would do if you was working for them on a class one. They do obviously lots of class two. You'll see them out and about in the day. Of course you will. Uh, it's more the same thing, but it's less. I the, I did a class two shift last week, and it was it was like being on holiday. It was so much easier than doing a class one. And the difference is in pay. It's only fifty p difference more driving a class one. Is it worth it? No, definitely not. Definitely not. And like I say, going for up for Christmas, you're definitely look, you're going to be looking around, unloading probably 72 pallets uh, a night, without a doubt. And that's not including, obviously, any loading that you'll be doing as well. There you go. There you go. Part of the industry. Right. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let you have something to think about. I am hopefully uh, got a plan to move on. Um, but I'll post a video on that as and when that ha occurs. Okay, right, thank you for watching, keep on trucking, and yeah, I'll see you for the next one.